I brought you someone very special. I brought you an expert yes. who is going to explain to you about sampling your soil. Yes. So that you can know how when you to plant, you know, and how important it is. Yes. Right? Yes. And first I'm gonna to explain to you the importance or the benefit of doing a soil sample. Mm -hmm. First, when you do a soil sample, you have increased your your yields in the farm yeah. because you'll be using the correct fertilizers. Yes. Second, you're gonna save because you'll be using the correct fertilizers and with the with the recommended quality and recommended quantities. Yeah. Third, you're going to use limited chemicals because your crops will be healthy so they'll be resistant to pests and diseases. Also, when you do soil analysis, you build your soil health so you'll have good crops with good health. The final one, you'll be able to plan ahead for your for your fertilizers because you already will have the results which will be showing you the fertilizers that you will be using in your farm. Yeah, yeah that's amazing, yeah. isn't it? Sophia shows Regina how to take the soil sample. Accurate soil sampling is important to successful soil and fertilizer management plants. Any farmer can do this and send off a sample to be tested. Okay, Regina, yeah. we can we have many different ways of taking a sample. Mm -hmm. We have a random one yeah. that you can take from here without any pattern. From here, there, you can go there like that. Yeah. But you can use a, a, a W shape or a zigzag one from here to here, like that. You do like that. Then you take around 10 to 15 spots. Then you mix the soil and you put it in the bucket. Why should I take uh, uh, the soil, the sample soil, or the, the whole of my land? If we get here, we not have a good picture of your farm. That's why we have to take from all different spots. Then we mix, then we have a clear picture of your farm, how it is. Okay. One soil sample should consist of between 10 to 15 cores taken from the field and mixed together. It is recommended that the cores be taken from a pattern like this, a zigzag or W shape. So you've taken uh, samples from all the 10 spots? Yes. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So now what next? We mix the soil. Okay, so yeah. how do you do that? We're going to mix them. Right. No, because we have already mixed. Yes. We're going to put it in our sampling bags. So you're going right. to put around mm -hmm. five handful in this right. paper. Then we put the information that we need on our sampling bags. Oh, great. Oh, great. Yes. So now we, we put in. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. You said five, like about like, how many like five, right? Yeah. Like many farmers, Regina does not have a soil sample bag. However, a clean polythene bag like this one can be easily used instead. There. No. See? And then you have, do you have tight? Yeah, yeah you, you have, have tight. tight. Right. Like like this. There. So does the farmer just send it just like this? No, 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 no. If she says like this, we will not know where this sample has come from. Right. So she needs to put some information that will guide us what she wants the sample to be done and where it has come from. Now, if mm -hmm. she doesn't hide, if she's using such a bag, right. she'll need to write the information somewhere else. She has to take a plain paper. Yes. She has to write all the information that we need. Yes. And most important, she has to tell us or she has to indicate her phone mobile number because right. most of the, nowadays we are reaching our farmers through sms we can right. we can send the recommendation through the sms so remember you must clearly write all the following information on a clean piece of paper to send with your soil sample your name your location the date the type of field for example vegetables trees maize etc and most importantly, a contact mobile phone number. This enables the laboratory to get hold of you in case they need more information, but also they can send you the results in an SMS message. Regina's soil sample is ready to go to the laboratory to be tested. We will find out the results later. A small-scale farmer can have their soil tested for 1,500 shillings from one of the crop nuts registered agro dealers or under their soil doctor program.